Welcome in to another episode of the EtroHub Weekly Updates. We have a lot to cover today. Uh, this week we launched a completely new site redesign. And I have also have some other stuff to show you. Uh, first off, we have the new EtroHub animating loop right behind me. So this was made by a guy called Rob is Rob on Fiverr. So he's an expert on animating still photos. So we had uh, our so we had our EtroHub art commissioned earlier from Huang Teng, and we sent that to him, and he made this cool loop for us. And uh, I also have a transition thing I will show you. Uh, I also have a new token, so we sent in our new elf token to Cardamajig, so that's coming soon. I will give you a little sneak peek on that right here, and here she is. Right now she is available in the shop as a sticker, so eTrub.com slash shop and you can check out the sticker. Uh, the card token will probably be available in the shop, well, in about a week or something. But let's get right into the new layout updates and with me today I have Andre three days ago, which will talk a little bit and compare the old and new design. So over to you Andre. So let's start with looking at the old design. There are several things I didn't like about this design. I just think the background color doesn't play well with all the cards and all the sectioning going on. And also there are a lot of borders that I wanted to get rid of. I think this is especially visible in the light mode. In dark mode it's still the same but it looks a little bit better. So let's go over to the new look. So with the new look, uh, there's now a white background color and the borders are gone from the uh, main section. I had to do a lot of changes uh, with the paddings and stuff like that, that didn't look uh, correct. Uh, and this also carries over on the dark mode. It looks a lot more smooth. Another thing we did was move the add section on the top of the page over to the top of the nav bar. Uh, this way I think it looks way more clean, uh, so it doesn't disturb the layout as much when it's up here. So this will only appear in the biggest resolution. If you have a smaller screen, for example something like this, uh, the uh, ad will still be at the top instead of up here, because there's not enough space. Another huge difference you can see is the logo is a lot bigger. This is because we had to fill 90 pixel height, so we chose to make the logo a lot bigger. I really didn't like how it looked in the small version. The details on it is quite unclear and it's not really designed for being this small. Uh, so blowing it up a little bit makes it look a lot better. Oh my f and as you might have noticed on the old design, we have a sticky function on the header. So when you scroll down, the header stays up. With the new design, the navigation bar is a lot higher. So we did a cool little thing that when you scroll, the menu gets smaller. So this actually makes it a lot better. Like there's a lot more available space when you scroll. And at the same time, we can stuff away the ad on the top, and it's out of sight. This made the menu a lot more compact, but I think this uh, is a very good change overall. So the front page has gone over a drastic change. I chose to make this uh, the same as uh, the other pages, where you have one main section and one sidebar instead of the old one where you basically have three columns and yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on and it's really hard to, to know where to look, especially for someone new on the site. So now there's only two columns and also the Twitter updates are now gone. I didn't really see its relevancy. I don't think a lot of people noticed that. And instead we added a lot more content on the front page. So there's a lot more, as you can see some pictures are missing. This is because I'm at my local computer right now and I don't have all the images downloaded on my computer. Uh, but there's overall a lot more content. And these changes will be live when you see this video. So I'm recording this on uh, Thursday night and uh, the changes will be live Friday morning. 
And you're probably watching this either Saturday or Sunday. So a huge change to the front page. There's also there are also been changes on all the pages actually. So uh, a lot of small changes. Like if you look at the public deck, so you can see in the new design there's a lot less borders than in the old uh, design. And just getting the uh, ad away from the top makes a lot of difference. So I think this uh, moving the ad is. A benefit to both the users and ourselves uh, because having an ad always available on the top in big screens uh, makes uh, the revenue ad revenue a lot better for us at the same time it also is better for the user because it's out of the way like on stuff you read so it's kind of benefiting both sides here I think another cool thing is the new card back so before this was the MTG official card back, uh, so we ch I changed that and made a new Etherhub one. I kind of want to keep the use of wizard's assets to the minimal, because we don't want to copy infringe them, so I made this new, I'm really happy with how it looks, it lo looks pretty sweet. So I will not go over all the changes now, I'll just let you discover some changes yourself. So let's see how this looks in night mode. So you can also see that I removed one of the search buttons, so there's only one now. So if you click this, you get to the advanced search. Uh, so it looks... Uh, and I also changed the color. Earlier it was green. So now it's just the same as the theme you're using, either light or uh, dark. I also discovered some bugs. So there was a bug with the video and write-up section where you could actually bug out uh, the meta decks altogether in in Commander and Historic. Uh, but this was it was very hard to trigger this bug, so I discovered it by an accident. And all that it did was make the uh, meta decks in Commander and Brawl unavailable for uh, an hour or two. I won't go into detail on how to trigger it, but it had to do with uh, some caching and caching the wrong data, so I put in a stop for that. And also in views like this, so earlier we had borders around this, so all that is now gone. I think it looks a lot smoother, and I'm very happy with uh, the design of the site right now. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Well, thank you, Andre. Three days ago, that was kind of you to take take your Tuesday night off to deliver this news to us. I guess that's it, guys. Uh, I did say that I was going to reveal our secret project that we are working on, so I will reveal it. Uh, I will not show any screenshots and stuff. Uh, like, we've already done a lot of work on it, but I think I'll save that for next week. But I can tell you what it is. So we are working on an MTG Arena extension. So the extension is going to be pretty cool. We are going to have a traditional deck tracker and we will have a draft helper with comments and ratings, like the LSV ratings. And we will also have a collection tracker. And the cool thing is that the collection tracker will be inside of the game. So it's basically click a button and see a summary of all the sets and uh, card summaries of your whole collection. It's kind of weird to me that Wizards haven't made this yet, so, and it's something I've wanted for a long time, ever since the start of the game. So I thought like, well, why not just make it? So those are the three main functions that are going to come in the first version. I do not have any... I do not have a release window on this. Probably... Probably end of January, uh, at the best. Uh, at the worst, probably the end of February. We'll, we'll see. But we have already done a lot of the visual stuff and we have uh, a lot of that stuff done. Uh, so the thing now is to work on the logging. And that's probably gonna take a while because we were planning to have uh, some external people do that. So they said that they could do it and, and here we are like three months after we talked to them and they're saying that they can't. So we have to do it ourselves. So that's a big uh, setback. That's kind of why I haven't talked about it yet. I kind of have this bad I have this bad feeling for a long time that I don't think uh, this will pull through like something seemed a little bit uh, too good to be true. <laughs> and it seems like I was a little bit right about that. 
Uh, but no worries, it's coming. It's just going to take us a little bit more time to, to get it done. But I'll ha I have some cool stuff to look at next week. So until then guys, Merry Christmas and have a good holiday. The next weekend update will be before the New Year's Eve, so I get to wish you a Happy New Year then. Uh, so until next time, have a good one.